we have uh, here an intact sawbone specimen. We have created a transverse midpole patella fracture. We now see the proximal and distal fragments of the patella. We are using small tenacula to control the fragments and achieve reduction. Kirshner wires are seen being passed from proximal to distal within the patella. The intent of the tension band wire is to convert tension forces to compression forces on the articular surface. We now see a figure of eight tension band wire being constructed. In this case, the 18 gauge wire is on a large needle generally used by cardiothoracic surgeons for sternal repair. The alternative modality would be to place the wire beneath Kirshner wires via an angiocath. In this specimen, the wires have been crossed and are being tightened at two sites. The longitudinal Kirshner wires are now being bent 90 degrees. The longitudinal Kirshner wires are now being cut. Following cutting of those wires, they are impacted from distal to proximal. The wires are being cut proximally. We can see the wires are taut on the anterior aspect of the patella. As the knee in the sawbones model is carried through a range of motion, the fixation is noted to be stable. Dynamic compression is occurring at the fracture site.